Tick, tick, tick. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody, everybody here. Come on, let's go and do this. Ta-da! <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm here, your dad. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Things are getting better for the farm because we were able now to make an additional rabbit cage. And this rabbit cage is designed for the breeders because we aim at raising more than 100 of these breeder rabbits in order to achieve our goal, which is to produce thousands of rabbits. And in the future, we can offer rabbit meats, of course, to our customers. And I'm so happy because we already have widened the space, the dry land of this farm. And we have now the bigger space for the parking. As you may notice, our rabbits are already growing. They're big now compared to their previous size and they are fed purely on grasses. The water spinach and the grasses that are available, the cover crops. And it was my learning before when we had this rabbitry in the old farm that giving pure grasses to our rabbits and legumes are actually good for them. So I do not give them commercial pellet because these are costly and this is what I dream about to become self-sufficient in terms of the food and the production of our animals but using only the available food in the surroundings we can outsource many plenty actually if you're just industrious enough and as you can see here we are developing another coop this rabbit coop is composed of nine compartments one two three four five six seven eight nine three layers this is the old uh, coop for our quails and we utilize this for our rabbits and in our future vlogs we're gonna be telling you about the details of this meaning the process or mechanics and how to breed our rabbits and for the meantime just allow me to tour you around because we have so many things to do we're gonna feed our animals right there in the pond. Tick, tick, tick. 
Come on, come on, come on! Everybody! Everybody here! I intentionally did not give them food for the purposes of this video because if they are full, they will not go down. And you can see that they can fly high. Some of them are perching at the top of the tree, some at the top of the coop, and then they will just dive in and eat this food. And many people are very eager to visit and, you know, watch us feeding our animals. In fact, just yesterday, we were visited by a group of children and they are enjoying here. They're, you know, doing the selfie and, you know, feeding these animals. I really enjoyed watching them. And our purpose here is to raise more chickens and more ducks to entertain us. And as we speak today, we are also blessed with so many eggs of these ducks and chickens. In fact, many of them already are incubating their eggs and uh, some of them are laying outside this is one of the things that i really don't want with chickens they are very stubborn but some of them are very cooperative that they are really laying eggs in the designated nest but some are not <coughs> If you have a vast source of water like this, a lagoon or a mini pond, it's really best for your ducks because I observed that they are breeding very effectively and produce plenty of eggs when you have this mud pond because they're breeding here. They're actually mating during the feeding and on the water. can imagine that. And this is one of the things that I have discovered for the Muscovy ducks. So this is it guys, this is one of the most exciting activities that our visitors would do to feed the babies of our African lovebirds. I will open this one and they will relentlessly ask for food. So come on, let's go and do this. ta -da! <laughs> Hi guys, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm here, your dad. Come on, come on, come on, I know that you really wanted to eat your breakfast now. I <laughs> see that. And I said that if you're gonna hand feed your baby Africans, it needs commitment, actually. I did not anymore use the syringe, but instead I made a DIY spoon for them. And you look at them, they are already very stubborn. <laughs> see that? see that? And in the future, we will teach them how to play basketball. They will shoot the ball in the ring, and that's gonna be a very you know, exciting event to watch here at Dexter's World Channel. Come on, you eat. Up, up, up. No, don't go, go anywhere. Wait, 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 wait. Very stubborn. Wait, wait, wait. You cannot wait. Okay. Wow, that's it. Wow. <laughs> Woo! If we can teach them how to play basketball, then that's gonna be the complete team. And we will have to make a video on the tournament that they're gonna make, the basketball tournament. Come on, here, here, here. You guys can see the taro. This is called gavi here. I did not figure out that this is very helpful for our chickens, especially during noontime. They are actually taking shades under, underneath these leaves. And it's very helpful. 
because the chickens are really gasping if the temperature is that high especially during noon time and they need the shade and uh, accidentally this gives them the comfort and i'm so happy about this and the chickens now are laying eggs very plenty so come on let's make an update about the hen that's laying her eggs outside the coop let's go there So this is what I said, we will follow their instinct. If they don't want to lay inside the chicken coop, then I will support them if they will lay their eggs outside. So you will see here, this hen is sitting on one dozen of native eggs. And we hope to see chicks in the future. Maybe three weeks from now, we can make already an update about the chicks. I just covered them with this GI sheets because if you will transfer, they will no longer sit on it. I mean, if you will transfer the eggs. So I just uh, supported with what they like. The hen is now very comfortable and already sheltered from the, the rain. So guys, these are all the things that we can share. I hope you like this video. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our regular uploads. And I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.